All right, today we're starting underneath the Bronco, where I'm currently at. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Let me switch the camera around. Finally getting around to finishing dropping the fuel tank. It's held up by one crusty, dusty fuel line. Uh, I think this exhaust shield can probably go. It's held up by uh, three self-tappers. So we'll drop the fuel tank, slide it out, and then I will get this crusty, dusty bitch out of here. Sorry, I don't know what view you're seeing because I'm on my back. Oh yeah, open up the lens, that's better. There you go. I can show you guys the uh, current state of affairs under the Bronco after I drop the fuel tank. So I've got one line to get rid of, one line to separate to drop the tank. So let's grab a special tool here. This should work. Get a little closer here. Find the culprit. That thing needs sharpened. I haven't used it for a couple years. Give me a second here. Okay, switched hands to my strong hand. The hand I spent many years being single with. Fuel tank's free. So I've never spent a lot of time under here. I know what the rust looks like from the top side. But when I come out here and look, to me, that looks like angle iron. When they rebuilt it in the 90s, the body mounts was gone. So they put this angle iron in place. The deeper I get into this thing, the bigger my, my budget gets. <sighs> it's okay. It's a labor of love, gentlemen. Uh, let's go to the driver's side. Driver's side. Huh. Same, same lovely repair. We've got angle iron welded to the factory support, which is angle iron to the outside. You know, it's a good thing this truck is solid everywhere where it counts, but everywhere where it doesn't count is either finagled, stuck together, Rusty, crusty, dusty. Oh, god damn it, we got a hole there too. Oh well. Nothing like a challenge. Hey, what's this hole for? I don't, I don't know what this hole's for. Okay, anyways. Now, I'm no rocket scientist or mathematician, but I think that body mount might need replaced. The one on the passenger side is in uh, marginally better condition. At least there's still rubber there. Oh man. I gotta stop recording this stuff. It's making me depressed. Five years. Five years this thing's gonna be fixed. It's gonna be worth a million dollars time I'm done with it. But for now, it's sad. Tonight, for help, I've got Charlie. Right now he's eating his candy, trying to get it out of the can. There you go. But uh, for now, let's get the fuel tank drug out. Right there is where the fuel tank was rusted through. Okay, here's the original fuel tank. The original tank is, I think, 25.3 or 25.2, whatever. But the replacement tank is either 33 or 35. So I need to order the fuel sending unit, probably a new vent, because, yeah. And for the fuel hose, the fuel filler hose, and the vent hose, that'll just be a chunk of hose that I order and cut to size based on what I'm seeing online these days. Now today on Facebook I did find a guy who has a couple tops for these Broncos for sale here in Iowa but uh, they're in rough shape. I mean windows are still there but the fiberglass is cracking and they're just rough in general. Uh, he wants 150 for these tops and they're rough but if somebody has a top that needs a little to no work I would be willing to pay near Southwest Iowa, I mean within two hours driving. Um, also, I need a tailgate, so 
And this Bronco, when it's finished, is going to be his as long as he's good and he can have it for his 18th birthday. I plan on finishing the Bronco around the time he turns 11 or 12. So that'll give me a few good years of making memories in it. And then as long as he's being a decent citizen by whatever the standards are by then, it'll be his. Okay, so I would like to try to get tubes put in these tires tonight. We're going to get these tires off. The lug nuts are just started by hand because I wanted to see what these tires and wheels look like on here. But I want to get these tires dismounted from the front side. I want to get the bead broke on the front side, get the tubes stuffed in them, get them aired back up, and tossed on a Bronco. But it's too cold out to try to dismount tires the way I normally do, so I'm going to try to use the weight of the front of the Bronco to pop the bead on these. If I mess the tires up, they're not roadworthy anyways. And I have a set of 31s I found on Facebook Marketplace. So if I blow these trying to do what I'm trying to do, so be it. I'd like to go outside and try to dismount them the way I normally do. But we got like 7 inches of snow today. So not going to happen. Not going to happen. Alright. Let's see if this works. Okay, we got pressure on there now. I might have to block up the other side. I don't know, we'll see. Well, these damn tires, I'm gonna have to pop them the other way. So I'm gonna have to wait for no snow. Because with the weight of the engine sitting on here and the sledgehammer, the bead's not popping. It's just not the right angle. There's not enough pressure. Back to the drawing board. Well, even the sledgehammer and pry bar didn't do enough. I'm just not getting enough pressure where I need it. So I have to wait to get these dismounted. Oh well. Okay, putting the 2x4 or 2x6 under the brake caliper got the results I was looking for. So, three more times. Just make sure you stay away when I'm doing it, okay? <sighs> okay, that's worked on two tires so far. So, let's get these tubes open. Get two tubes thrown in those two tires, and then I will throw those two tires in the back of the Bronco. So I have a stabler more stable front end to dismount the other two tires. Okay, the two Dynapros have tubes in them. And 40 PSI each. I'm gonna get them mounted on the rear. Once they are mounted, I will use the front end of the Bronco to dismount the Wranglers. Stay tuned. Alrighty, she's back on all fours for the first time in three months. It took me probably 
oh, an hour and 10 minutes to pop the bead on all four tires, put tubes in all four tires. But the yard tires are on it. This is a factory stance. Well, I guess there is like a one inch spacer on the front, but 235, 75 R15s. Same tires I came with in the factory. This thing will eventually have 33s and the front end will be lifted up probably two more inches than it is. I'm gonna take out the lift that's in there and put a three inch lift in because mixing lift components is goofy as hell. But anyways, this is where I'm at and this is where I'm headed to. The plugs and wires are changed. I need to get the bottom half of the distributor cap replaced because I broke it off with my knee when I was changing the spark plugs on that side because my knee slipped and where my knee slipped and I fell and caught myself out of there and well these plastic distributor caps can't handle 230 pounds obviously but the tubes are in the tires they hold air the next step is to get it outside well also oh, tonight I got the fuel tank out the rest of the way the new fuel tank is ready I need to buy a sending unit and a roll of fuel line the next step though I mean, I'd like to get the fuel line and stuff ordered this week in the sending unit. It's actually rather cheap for what these are. Um, but I'd like to get some fuel put in the temporary tank, get this thing pulled outside, up on blocks, jack stands, vehicle ramps, something, get it higher in the air, get underneath of it and pressure wash better than I did last time. I washed it for an hour before I brought it in here and that wasn't enough so I need to spend about another hour under it, over it, beside it, and what have you. But anyways, that's where I'm at, uh, that's where we're headed. Um, I was looking online last night, the bedsides for this on uh, Bronco Graveyard are only $259 a piece so I might order those soon and just stick them up in the attic until next winter. because. Uh, they're probably going to go up in price, and that's pretty cheap as far as I'm concerned. But, uh, I suppose that's about all I have for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a good week, good evening, good day, whatever. Stay tuned for more. Love you guys.